rooftopdiy.com here for a quick video on how to pour epoxy resin without bubbles. We get a lot of comments and a lot of emails from people asking, why is my epoxy bubbling when I'm pouring? Why am I getting air bubbles in my final pour? And we've done a video in the past on how to properly pour epoxy and how not to pour epoxy, so you can check those out. But one of the biggest problems is not preparing your surface before pouring the epoxy. So we're in the middle of testing multiple different brands of epoxy, different manufacturers of epoxy, and we wanted to go ahead and make this video because we noticed a couple issues when we were making this video. So what I've got here in front of me is three separate surfaces all sectioned out and we poured the exact same epoxy in sections but on different surfaces and you'll see the different reactions. So let's start over here with this piece of wood. We did not seal this wood, we didn't do anything and you can see in the different sections of this wood where the bubbling occurs. Right here you have a section of bubbling but down here it's not because look at how you get the gaps in the grain here. If there's more gaps there's more air bubbles to come up and that's what you're seeing here. Here was a tight grain, no problem. Here we got bubbling uh, over here. And this is actually a casting resin, which I'll address here in a second, but it's a, just a much thinner pour. Now we pop over to these two surfaces. Again, same exact epoxy that we've just sectioned off and no bubbles. That's because this is a laminate. There's nowhere for uh, air to release from the laminate into the epoxy. And here we have a piece of cedar, which normally would release bubbles. But what we did is put a sand and seal down before we poured the epoxy. And you'll see no bubbles. So pop over here, you'll see the bubbles over here, you'll see the bubbles back here, and again, the same epoxy, this is the same section right on this piece of wood, no bubbles. Here's the same section right here, no bubbles. It's the same case, guys. It's, I just wanted to show you this to make sure that you understand. So I just wanted to throw that out there, guys, and give you the information, because like I said, we were getting ready to test all these epoxies. We had it sectioned off, it worked out perfectly. I noticed the problems coming up on the surface of this wood, so I thought it would fit really well in a video, help you guys at home. Make sure you have your surface is properly sealed before you pour it. And again, like we always recommend, test a very small area so you would see something like this before you go pour an entire project. Thanks for watching. Next, we're gonna move on to a video on casting resin, which is this right here. As you can see, we sealed a scallop shell in some casting resin. So I will tell you the difference between casting resin and epoxy in the next video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and we'll be back next time for more video reviews.